Even though it may be obvious, let's go over what's on the chicken. You have two legs, two wings, and two breasts, and then the carcass. We're gonna be breaking this down into eight pieces. So that's two breasts, two wings, and two legs. So that's only six. But then you break the legs down into a thigh and a drumstick. So that's your eight pieces all together. Now starting with one of the legs, you can see there's some skin here. You want to cut through that with the knife and so you can see the joint exposed. Then looking underneath, you can see where the leg finishes and this kind of curve around here. That meat under there is what's known as the oyster and it's absolutely stunning. So you want to keep that attached to the leg meat. So once you've cut through the skin, holding the leg in one hand, you want to snap back the joint, which will expose a gap where the bone is. So then holding the whole thing by the leg, you can then cut around that oyster and then through, and that will give you one whole leg cut off. Do exactly the same for the other leg. And then it comes to the wings. Hold the wing up like this, and you'll be cutting round the wing. You'll fill the joint, you can cut through the joint, and the wing comes off. Repeat this for the other wing. Now we've got the two wings and the two legs off. Next thing is to take the two breast portions off. Down the middle of the bird, you can see a groove, and below that is the breastbone. Put the knife in just to one side of the breastbone and cut along the bone all the way, making sure you don't leave any meat on the bone. Once you've got a clean cut, cut through the wishbone. That will just make it easier later on. Move your knife down the bone in a cutting motion and also pushing outwards against the meat all the way down until eventually you can cut the breast free and you're just left with one whole breast. Do exactly the same on the other side. That now gives us two breasts, two wings, and two legs. Now we want to break the legs down into thighs and drumsticks. Now take the leg and on the back, as you can see, there's a natural fat line that runs across it. Place your knife just to the drumstick side of that fat line and you should be able to cut through perfectly easily without actually cutting through the bone. That will then leave you with a thigh and a drumstick. Repeat the same for the other leg and now you've got two breasts, two wings, two thighs and two drumsticks. Eight pieces from a whole chicken. And it leaves you then with the carcass, which you can use for stock or soups. If you don't know how to do that, what I would suggest is put it in a bag, chuck it in the freezer, because I'll be doing another video soon on how to make homemade chicken stock. It's so easy and you'll really kick yourself that you've never done it sooner and really stop buying stock cubes. Now with these eight pieces, you can then fillet them down even more. You can cook them as they are, take the skin off, leave the skin on, it doesn't really matter. But the fact is you've got eight portions of chicken here at such a ridiculously cheap cost because you've bought the whole bird complete plus the carcass for any stock. And so my challenge to you is give it a go. It's so easy. You don't need special knife skills at all. You can see how I did it. It's super quick. To be honest, you can do the whole thing in under a minute. And even Gordon Ramsay did it blindfolded. It really is simple. Don't worry if you miss a little bit of meat on the bones it comes with practice it doesn't really matter because if you're going to use that carcass for stock it's going to be flavor anyway but the point is you're getting so much more value and so much better use of the chicken rather than just buying the separate parts themselves so if you too really want to start enjoying cooking for the fun experience it is and start taking a few risks make sure you smash that like button and like the video share it with everyone share it with the world and make sure you click the link in the description below to get my free pdf of five home kitchen essentials. Never mind all the rubbish that you see around, these are the only five things you really need in your kitchen. Save yourself a ton of money and make life a lot easier. And for now guys, I say thanks for coming along, sticking with me, hopefully you're enjoying cooking and loving the new videos, and yep, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.